Hey man, I know what y'all thinking, man, when y'all look at uh this this title of this video. And I'm not here to bash women. And I'm not here to say that men don't cause the downfalls of women. But as I'm looking at all the the news that we got going on today, the last couple weeks, I just want these entertainers and you know just the fans and just people in general to realize like the downfall and just the pitfalls of, as a man, how these women can really control your life. So let's start. We got the sweeties, you know, we got the Danny Lays, we got the Kashawn Rocks, you know, dealing with the blue face shit. We got Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. So let's tap into it, man. So we got Sweetie. You know, this situation, we already, I ain't got to run down what happened. Y'all seen what happened. You know, I think that these men is putting a little too much energy into Sweetie. Sweetie is a beautiful woman. Beautiful woman. I don't know one man in the world that probably wouldn't be attracted to Sweetie, right? But we got to take a deeper look into shit, man. Sweetie's a messy person. Sweetie's messy. And Sweetie is thinking all about herself. And I say that because let's think about it. Sweetie posted that picture up with Lil Baby, right? Obviously, Lil Baby was a little upset. Now, I'm hoping it was a publicity stunt, but let's think about it. You know, I think everything, let's just think about it outside of a publicity stunt. If you look at Sweetie, man, you know, when she fell out with, with her boyfriend of three years, she conveniently had a video on her phone of Quavo and her arguing and, and getting into a physical tug of war over a PlayStation. So to me, it just sounds like Sweetie, you know, she's an opportunist, right? You gotta watch those type of people. If she'll do that to her boyfriend in three years, what she did, what did little baby expect? You out here taking her on a shopping spree? You sat there and let that woman sit on your lap and snap a picture right opportunist you know what i'm saying you fell out with your boy quavo you fell out with the migos and you thought that you know oh shit well shit let me tap into what she got going on you know what i'm saying i don't owe no loyalty to them niggas no more when y'all could be with you you and what you and quavo and the migos and quality control could build is worth way more than what you and sweetie can build and you know We've seen that Sweetie basically doesn't mind coming in between two men. That's what that shows me. Especially two men that she already know have, have issues. Now we've seen this play out with Vaughn, an NBA young boy. And I'm not saying that this is what the same results that's gonna happen with, with Baby and Quavo, but you know, we, we gotta look into that, man. We've seen at worst what can happen, Vaughn, you know, him and Asian dog uh, break up. Allegedly, she may have cheated on him with the young boy or allegedly she got with young boy after their relationship. I ain't saying it's right, but there's pride and there's ego in this shit. So they literally do the swap out. Now you see Vaughn with one of his, with one of young boy's baby mamas, right? And now they got beef. Now, just like that, you got a street beef and you see how Vaughn, uh, you see how Vaughn crashed out when he seen one of his artists over her you know i can't touch young boy i can't find young boy i'm gonna hit his artist deliver a message nigga but he didn't know that nigga was coming out with that thing on him so just take that into consideration but sweetie about herself sweetie about her bag so sweetie gonna snap that picture and put it up on the internet knowing that the internet detectives are gonna do their work that's why i say you gotta watch yourself when you're dealing with people, Sweetie is an opportunist, right? Danny Lay. You know, I wasn't into the way that all the extras that the baby did as far as, you know, the whole side chick comments and all that. But, you know, the baby handled it the right way as far as wanting to record her. Now, I don't agree with him going live, but I do agree that he should have protected himself against her because, see... What it sounds like is, 
it's a situation where Shotty don't want to leave. We know Shotty didn't want to leave. He said, I want you to leave. I'm not asking the kid to go, but I understand if you go, the kid probably going to go too. But I'm done dealing with you. I need you to leave. At first, we felt a little sympathy for her, but then we see the next day, she's still there in the same clothes. Still ain't left. He had to call the police twice on her. It's an assault. You know, you see if he didn't record that, you see the angle she was going to take, right? She was going she was going to continue to make you know, you know, try to still be in a relationship, still, you know, being something toxic with this man, go back and forth with his baby mama cause all this hell to his life. Now I blame him, you know, but at the same time, the baby, you got to make wiser choices, you know. You can't let these women control your life like that. Where you got to, you know, call the police and Y'all got children together and whatnot. And now you look at kind of funny with from your uh, female fan base because they looking at you like, damn, you kicked the pregnant woman out. I mean, you kicked the, uh, uh, the mother of your child out. When in actuality, you just like everybody else, like, you know, sometimes relationships don't work, you know? So we got to be more careful. Then we got blue face. Blue face. I don't know what to tell you, man. You out here running a whorehouse, you know? You didn't think that this would, this would come to something like this? You trying to run a bad girls club on, on OnlyFans and whatever it is. You trying to run a bad girls club. You know, no production, just some ghetto ass shit. Some ghetto ass blue face shit, right? So then you probably fucking her. You know, you got an artist that you signed. What's her name? Krishan Rock. She probably out there broke. Piss poor. She ain't even from L.A. She didn't she was down her luck. You gave her you gave her uh access to your condo. You dropped her. She bust all the windows out the apartment. And then she Ubered to the location where y'all shot Bad Girls Club and refuses to fucking leave. And she pretty clever too. She know the rules. She know the laws about, you know, the squatter laws. Hey, listen, I get I get mail sent here. Oh, I live here. This is what it is. So now y'all got like a $1.5 million house that this broke ass hoe sitting up in because she don't want to go home. So now you calling Wack over there. We all know Wack temper crazy. You know, he get the police involved. He trying to tell them the police is, you know, they going to take care of a woman. Now you frustrated. Now he frustrated because it's like, damn, this bitch up in here, this bitch up in here and goddamn, she just can just stay. Nah, this bitch got to go. Now he angry. Now he charging at her. Now your manager about to catch a charge. Now he into it with you. You don't even, you probably not even making that much money off of rap music anymore. I mean, when was the last hit? Now I ain't saying you don't make no money, but unless he's getting part of a percentage of everything, which you might be because he's your manager, you not worth the headache. At some point, you're not going to be worth the headache. Rap careers only last so long. You're not that, you're not that guy. So WAC 100 gonna keep managing people. He killing Clubhouse, he killing personality. People wanna work with him. They don't wanna work with Blueface. So that's just a, you know, you better think about that. Don't let these women be your downfall, man. You signing these women, you got these women on these shows and shit. For what? They're not lucrative. Then we got Will Smith. Let's look at Will Smith, the OG. We literally looking at him different. Now you over here talking about how you was jealous of Tupac and you know you 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 been cheated on to the point where you, uh, an orgasm you you had to go have sex with so many people that an orgasm repulsed you. Um, you know you got your wife in entanglement. She's saying you got to stay on this side of the house if you know you can't leave, and you just keep steady putting out more and more information about this woman, and it's looking and, and it's ruining your public perception because at this point we looking at it will like. Damn, bruh. Why every time we hear about your fucking wife, it's something bad. She's just embarrassing you. Do y'all love each other? You said you couldn't even... You said the, the the most craziest thing you ever thought was that you could make her happy. What's going on here? Either keep that shit to yourself. Or just, you know, these women is becoming everybody downfall, man. And I hate to see, you know, the industry, everybody going out like this, man. We got to make better choices, you know. I understand men can fuck up a woman life, but God damn. We got to make better choices, man. What's going on, bro? Anyway, man, it's your boy Big Justin LaFleur from that Facts of Cat podcast. I just need y'all to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Y'all let me know if y'all rocking with me. Let me know if I'm making sense, man.
I'm just sitting here thinking about this shit, man. This is it's a sad day. But anyway, man, hey, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button in that top right corner. Like, share, comment. And we out, baby. Subscribe for daddy channel.